Good evening. Arena, it's time. Breakfast in bed. Mom, wake up. Part one. Arena, wake up. Oh. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, sleepyhead. Good morning, Mom. Wow, what is this? Breakfast in bed. Just for you. Everybody is up except you. We've tried waking you up three times. I'm sorry. And you're running late. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. Of course I'm late. Thank you, my darlings. Mom, this suit is perfect. Thank you so much. Are you nervous, my little athlete? No. That's right. The trainer says that I'm more prepared than anybody. That's because you are the most talented. All right, Bye. I'm late. See you later. Good luck. Hey, Mom, is Daddy coming to my competition? Of course he will, my darling. He promised he would. Maybe, will you come too? Tanya, I can't. Because of Daddy? No. You don't want to see him? No, it's because of work, honey. I can't get out of it. I'm sorry. We are going to the cafe after. Maybe you'll be free by then? Maybe. Please call me, okay? Wait, wait, wait. I left a pin on the suit. What? Where? I left a pin here. Oh, okay, my done. God. <laughs> looks good. The suit looks great, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Nobody will think it's homemade. It's perfect. You are my wizard. There is no difference from the Go. original. Just like the magazine. All right, so I'll see you at work. Yes. And you break a leg. Yes. Goodbye. Bye. Call me. So, champion, time to get ready. I need to be on time for work after I drop you off. Grandma, I'm ready and you're not. Your hula hoop is not ready yet. Oh, good morning, Arena. Please, wait. We need to make a decision about the repairs. At least about the smaller changes by winter. Well, I know, Ivan, I know. Huh? How beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you. going to take the day off? Well, they wouldn't let me oh, take bastards. it. Bastards. On the other hand, Madve is coming. Are mm -hmm. you kidding me? Hello. Hello. So, everybody, 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 come here. Come here, come here. All of you be quick. Hey, you. Yes. Over here now. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Is everybody here? Come here, all of you. As the best hotel in the city, we have been given the honor of hosting the seventh International Business Seminar. Wow. So please pay attention to all of our customers' needs and wishes, all right? So don't forget anything. Here we go. Japanese customers in rooms 211 and 226. They look similar, but... God forbid. God forbid if anybody makes a mistake. 
They are from competing companies. It will be enough if you smile and nod at them. Then, in room number 507, take the carpets and drapes off. The guest is allergic. He's bringing his own bed sheets. Be quiet, be quiet, <laughs> quiet. Just imagine. A banker has a Mercedes, an account with six figures, but can't breathe. Six figures? How do you know this? Room 509, the guest has a pet. He is an event planner. Wait, this is the fifth floor. How can I remove hair from corners every 20 minutes? Natasha, it's a small little dog. So deal with it and make sure there are no dog hairs. So, because he's an event planner, he has... A little dog? <laughs> what? What's wrong? Please be quiet. Natasha, the mini bar must always be stocked. Okay. So what about Matvey? Tanya persuaded him to come. He's going to his daughter's competition for once. He hasn't showed up in five years and suddenly he's yes. coming? I said be quiet. And the main guest is Mrs. Stein. Relax, relax, relax. She is our regular customer. So be very patient. You could take my bags. <laughs> this lady is extremely irritable. But you already know all that. You don't need me to explain that to you. One time, she threw a vase at one of the guys. Do you remember <laughs> that fight we had? <laughs> This time, let her throw it at you. Let her throw it, and be very patient. That's all for now. Go to your places, have a good day. Stop, 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 stop. A perfect staff is invisible. What the hell is this? Once more, a perfect staff is invisible. That's all, you can go to your places now. The hotel is full of rich men and I need to be invisible? Volashina, hang on. I'll be waiting for you by the door. Natasha, hello. I already saw you. We need to talk. What? I need your advice. It's about a girl. Is she the same one or another? The same one. Wasn't it helpful enough last time? No, it wasn't. She's always running away, but I kept thinking the signs were all there. Look, I'm busy now. Okay, when then? Maybe later. Later when? I don't know. If you see me, we can talk. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You need to go to the restaurant, and I need to clean after that dog. Go on, go. I don't even know. But why me? Look, she couldn't show me a certificate of completing higher education. This is your chance. Yes, but a personal manager It's is... the same as staff. Order the dinner and just take care of the other things that are relevant to our guests. Hmm? But if he has some special wishes, call me and I'll take care of it. What do you mean by special wishes? Well, Ashina. But please, You are like sir. a little girl sometimes. I don't know what kind of wishes he might have. What if he wants to order... I don't know, dancing bears. Dancing bears? Listen, I can only come to you. Do you know how many problems I have? Yeah. Our plumber started drinking. Drinking? It doesn't matter. An engineer is sick. If it's bears he wants, it's bears he gets. Deal? All yes. right, go get changed uh -huh. now. A management school dropout. If you are good enough at this, I'll promote you to manager. Thank you for this opportunity. Congratulations. Oh, please. A personal manager? That's great. Mr. Gordon's gone. Gordon. Gordon. Uh, excuse me. I'm gonna Isn't this Mr. Gordon's car? Yes, it's Gordon's car. And how is Mr. Gordon doing? He's doing okay. Is Mr. Gordon canceling his appearance? Please, everyone, Mr. Gordon is okay. He has not canceled his appearance. Are you hiding something? <sighs> Is Mr. Gordon feeling ill? Will he show up tomorrow? Uh, Mr. Gordon, one minute, please, Mr. Gordon. Answer the question, please, Mr. Gordon. Is it true that you've given a limousine to the orphanage? I gave them a bus. Who will be your companion at the governor's ball? I'm going alone. The apartments are great. I tried to take all of your comments from your previous visit. You have the windows facing south, and there's lots of room between the bed and the dressing table. But the room is yellow. I don't like yellow. That is the color of separation. <laughs> I want the blue one. The blue deluxe suite is occupied, unfortunately. So then just make it available. <sighs> But your room is better. First of all, it's bigger. And second, there's a much better bathroom. But is it also yellow? 
Mr. Gordon, Mr. Gordon, do you have a minute for me, please? Do you have anything to say regarding the gossips about your engagement with the famous actress? I don't know what you're talking about. By the way, this is the guest from the Blue Deluxe Suite. Artem Gordon, 35 years old, millionaire, and single. And he's your neighbor. Blue Deluxe Suite is right next door to the yellow apartment. But if you insist, I can relocate you to the higher floor. No, I'll get used to the color yellow. But please, make some changes. Change the tablecloths, curtains. I don't know, do something. Of course. Of course! <laughs> Well, Ashina. Yes, Vasily. Your promotion is canceled. <laughs> canceled? Go to the yellow deluxe suite and change everything from yellow to blue. What am I going to do? I don't know what. Maybe change the curtains, tablecloths, flowers, anything. Of course I'll do that, but what about Gordon? I'll take Gordon myself. So, I didn't assign a new maid, so this is still your floor, understand? Do it! But Mr. Lee. Hey, hold on, wait a minute. Everyone wants to know. What's your ideal image of a woman? Is she a blonde, brunette, or a redhead? I don't have an ideal image. Mr. Gordon, how about Asian girl, sir? One more question for our magazine. Who is your ideal woman? You see, it depends on my mood. I've answered you. Excuse me. Hold on, hold on, but where are you running off to? Just one minute, please. Everyone, please. Artem will answer your questions later on this evening, I promise. Please tell us, is it true that there is an anaconda in Gordon's apartment? Excuse me, where can I find the exit? Turn right. Thank you. Hey, have you, have you seen the boss? No, no, who is that? The plumber. I've been working here for three days and I don't know anybody. Where's the exit? To the right. Thank you. <gasps> Be careful, why don't you look where you're going? I'm sorry, where's the exit? Right there. I see. Are you a new hire? Yes, this is my first day. Ah, who are you? My name's Artem, and what's your name? <laughs> I mean your department. Who am I? Mm -hmm. What is it that you do here at the hotel? Hmm. <sighs> An engineer. Oh, great. My name is Arena. That's <laughs> great they recruited you so quickly. <laughs> I heard Lapin will be in the hospital for a long time. Lapin? Arena! Arena! Oh, that's a have you seen Kapitano? No. The plumber? Yes. No. Oh my Did God. you take the flowers to the yellow suite? Yes, I have. But the plumbing is broken. The room is full of water. Are you kidding? No. Can you repair plumbing? I can try. Do you have tools? Yes, we'll find some. Who is he? He's our new engineer. Now hurry up or Artem. the room will flood. Did the boss invite you? No, the governor. It's and funny. do you have tools? Yes. <sighs> oh my God. A towel, get a towel quick. <sighs> Here it is. <sighs> All right. So, yes, hold it here and yes. I'll turn the water off. Ah, ah, I'm holding hold it. it. Okay, wait a sec. I'll turn it off. Is it okay? Ah, ah. Are you crazy? You said you turned it off. Be quiet. Are you sure you're a plumber? I'm an oh, engineer, I like I said. Well, I turned it off. I don't believe you. Try it. <laughs> Did it work? Why are you laughing? Natasha, thank God you're here. Please bring me some dry clothes from the closet. Oh my God, you're all wet. I know. I need to change the bed. Don't sheets. worry, I'll do it. Be quick, and you be quick too. Okay. Uh Will it take long? No, it won't. Have you been working as a maid for a long time? No, this is my last day. Are you leaving? No, I've been promoted. Mm, my congratulations. You have a beautiful rare name. <laughs> Thank you. Your name is rare as well. Really? Are you married? What? I asked if you were married. Sorry for asking, it was just a question. It's okay. Uh-huh. <sighs> well, it seems to be fixed now. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's okay now. That's great. Mm. 
Maybe we can have a cup of tea at the bar. No, no, I have a lot of work to do, and you're all wet. You better go change your clothes. You're right. Uh, you can go now. You're right. Uh, I need to go. Uh, and, uh, um, hmm? and the tea? Let's have it another time. You're going to be here a while, aren't you? Replacing Lapin, right? Yes, I'll be here for a week. <laughs> oh, you forgot your oh. bag. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> Nat! Nat! Natasha, can we talk? Don't you see I'm in a hurry? You're always in a hurry. No, I can't right Sashkina. now. Go to room number 505 right away. A couple is checking in. The wife just told us that her husband wasn't allowed to drink. But I have to take this suit. They're on their way up now. But it's urgent. This is urgent too. Let him take the clothes. Here, uh, you have five uh, minutes to empty the mini bar. And where should I take it? Give it to Arena to take to Mrs. Stein's room. Sechkina, five yeah, points. That's great, there are 20 rooms. Hi, Vic. Hello. Do you know Mrs. Stein's room number by any chance? No, do you mean the ballet dancer? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Check with reception. She's not on my floor, thank God. Well, thank you. You should be careful. I heard that old broad killed her husband and came here to find a new one. <laughs> she also threw a vase at us once I know. before. that ballet dancer Stein? I wonder how old she is. She must have had plastic surgery. I want a drink. Is there a mini bar? Don't even dream about it, darling. There's nothing but water. I think there's someone in here. Who could possibly be in here? Good day. I'm sorry for being late cleaning your room. We need to change the pillow. You deserve a better one than this. I'll be back. <gasps> Look at this room. Yeah, it looks really nice. Oh, and what a wonderful view. Why are you taking so long? Call me ASAP. Have you fixed the plumbing? What's going on? How long do I have to wait? I'm very sorry, but your room is not ready yet. Let me take you to the bar. Oh, that's just great. Well. Can you tell me Arena Stein's room number? What's this? What are you doing here? What do you mean? You told me... If I understand correctly... This is your suit? Wait. Is there... A woman with the same suit staying in this hotel? No, it's impossible. Can you not see the problem here? I'm going to get out of here. Ah, what a terrible coincidence. It's awful. But to forget this misunderstanding, let me take so you to the bar. I need to change clothes now. But your room is not ready yet. Then you will never see me again because I'm done. Regina, go get my coat, my purse. Artem, there's going to be a meeting with Stroy Invest representatives at 3 p.m. A dinner with Stroy Invest's representatives. A meeting with the governor at 7.30. A meeting with the governor. And you have a press conference in the hotel at 8 p.m. Move it to tomorrow. You'll be busy tomorrow. Or maybe I can be sick? No, unfortunately. Too bad. And by the way, you're confirmed for the governor's ball. Do I have a date yet? Not yet. But, you know, it would probably be better if you came with one. So why don't you find me a 90-year-old woman? I'm tired of all these questions about my life. I'm afraid in that case there'd be a lot more questions coming your way. Hmm. Mm mm mm. Oh. You know, sometimes I wish I could be on an uninhabited island where nobody knows who I am. Unfortunately, journalists are everywhere these days. I wish people could be nice to me, not just for my money. Artem, listen, we gotta get going. Huh? Oh, yeah. Give me 10 minutes. I'll wait for you downstairs.
The room is ready. Where are you? Great. And where are you? The yellow deluxe suite is ready. Only took a year. Hmm. Natasha. Have you heard? The boss is with a ballet dancer. Her face seems to be full of Botox. It looks like a mask. Natasha, where is my suit? What do you mean? I mean that I'm standing here naked, wearing a bathrobe in the hallway by the yellow suite. Get out of there. They're on their way up. What do you mean up here? I asked you to please bring me my suit. But the boss interrupted me, and I sent Sereja to you. Sereja. Hello? Hello. Hi. Nice bathrobe. It suits you. What were you doing there? I was checking the plumbing. Anybody else in there? No. Wait. Hello? Stay there. I'll go find him. Mrs. Stein, if you need something else, your luggage will be here in just if a minute. If you have a smart employee, please send her up to me right away. I want to fire my assistant. I'm sure everything will be fine. Just mind your own business. You are so incredibly incompetent. You were supposed to check everything. What if somebody came to the event wearing the same suit? Do you like it? I've cleaned this room a thousand times. Hmm. I'm just interested in the kind of man that likes staying here. Does that matter? I will be his personal manager as of tomorrow. Hmm, I made for a businessman. Frankly speaking, I went to school for management. Excuse me? I haven't finished my degree yet. For a personal reason. What kind of reason? It doesn't matter. To be honest with you... Hmm? I... I have a dream. I wish I could have my own little hotel. Ambitious. <laughs> yes, why not? How come he gets to do it? Maybe he's special. Yeah, he's special. What do you mean? He throws his socks on the floor like a typical man. <laughs> what kind of a weird habit is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's awful. Does your husband throw socks? Tanya? Mommy, my competition starts in 30 minutes. I know that. But Daddy isn't here yet. What do you mean? You heard. He may just be running late. He's not going to come. Madre, where are you? What? Are you out of your mind? You promised her. She is waiting for you, Madre. You are such a horrible. You are such a scum. Is everything okay? No, it's not okay. My daughter Tanya has a competition today, and no one is there to support her. Did your husband get tied up with business? No, I don't have a husband. Are you an idiot? Take it away immediately. Where? They had the wrong room. Where is the suit? It's there. Hello? Oh, hello. How do you do? Is everything okay? Yes, thank you. The hotel's great. Mm -hmm. Are you from the restaurant? What time is breakfast? From 8 to 10. It's for the guests. And from 6 to 7, it's for the staff. Thank you. Marina, is everything okay? Everything's fine. <sighs> Goodbye. Have a good night. Goodbye. Excuse me. Sir, please let me go. I need to go to my daughter's competition. <sighs> Did you just find out about it? No. My husband had promised to come, but he didn't. You know that my daughter needs my support. You can't. Thank you so much. No, you can't go. What do you mean? I'm not letting you go. Why? Take this suit off now, go upstairs and get changed. And go to the Yellow Deluxe Suite. 
You are the personal assistant to Irina Stein. I need to go to my daughter's competition. And I need to see my grandchildren. You know what? I'm going anyway. Yes? Come back. Mom, Mom, we're starting and Daddy is not here yet. Please calm down, my darling. Come back. And focus. I'm coming right now. Everything is going to be okay. What happened? Madve didn't show up again. I knew it. I will fire you. I don't you. care. Excuse me. No. No, please. Please wait. No, what's going on? We'll be on time. Artem, we're really late. Taxi? Look, we only have 15 please. minutes. Please. Knock it off. Taxi? What do you mean? Knock it off. Is there a problem? Yes. My daughter's performance will start in 20 minutes. Do you drive? Yes, yeah, sometimes. And taking the floor right now, we have Polishina, representing the sports school for children, you know. live with us again, but it's not your fault. You can't change anything about it. Do you hear me? He promised me ice cream. Why does he always lie to me? I don't understand. I don't know. Why doesn't he love me? You silly girl. He loves you, and I love you, and grandmother loves you very much. You are the most beautiful, the most talented, the strongest, the best athlete, and we're going to get that first prize. Do you understand me? Okay. So stop crying. Let's go home. Are you cold? Yes. Grandmother will make us a cup of tea. I don't make serious decisions at dinner. You know that. Fed you like a child. Yes, I'll be in a meeting. Okay, but okay, bye. Okay. Is everything over? I was coming to watch the competitions. Mom, who's this? This is Uncle Artem. He is my co-worker. He drove me here. Yeah. I want to get acquainted with you. What's your name? I apologize for her. She is very upset. We had to cancel the performance we've been preparing for a long time. Mm-hmm. It's okay. That's too bad. But we need to fix this situation, don't we? Uh, do you want to go get some ice cream? Not now. I want some ice cream, and I also want to get lunch. I want to order a cake and french fries. No, chocolate is better. Hey, are you going to eat all that? I don't think so. I will. And what about an ice cream? 
Chocolate, raspberry, mango. Three scoops of raspberry. Tanya. I didn't know that gymnasts ate so much dessert. She doesn't usually eat so many desserts. Of course I do. She's joking, of course. She's just upset because her performance was Nobody canceled. Nobody canceled my performance. I started crying and I couldn't focus on the competition. And that's why I failed it. You didn't fail anything. It was my fault. I should have been there to begin with. I'm going to eat all the cakes and ice cream. I don't care anymore about my competitions. From now on, I'm not doing any more sports. Don't say that. Your cake, miss? And ice cream will be out in a minute. Don't do that. You can't quit sports. Oh, I can. You're very talented. How do you know that? You haven't seen me compete. Yeah, but I don't need to. That was the Governor's Cup, am I right? Only the very best can participate. But I was invited. So you're a pretender. How could anybody have missed this opportunity? Does your mother pay for this? Just imagine, you've taken an opportunity to participate in that competition away. And there's a little girl crying at home somewhere because she wanted to take but part. But I didn't do anything at all! What is he talking about? Artem. I played football when I was a little boy. Do you have an amulet? I do. It's a badge. It always helped me, even if I was in a bad mood, just like you were today. I took it in my hands, clenched my fist, and told myself, I can do it. And I did. And everything was great. The main thing was not to give up. Do you want me to give it to you? I don't have it with me right now, but I can give it to your mother later. Here is your dessert. Mmm, one for each. Oh, the desserts are great. It's so beautiful. Do you come here a lot? Honestly, it's on our way home. Mm. Mom wants to turn this house into a hotel. Mm. So, will you make your dreams come true? And who owns it now? Well, my mother's second cousin. He lives abroad and doesn't know what to do with the house. Mm -hmm. But I think it will make a great little boutique hotel. I've um, sent him a business plan, but he hasn't responded. Does that mean you would be an owner? A manager. Will you be an engineer in my hotel? I will. <laughs> Excuse me, hello? Let me show it to you, the view from the window. Irina, thank God. How did it go? It didn't go well? School competitions are not a good excuse. Yes. Vasily is standing right here and ask him when you're coming back to work. Oh, tomorrow, Mom. Ask him to understand. I can't leave Tanya right now. Arena, you need to take Tanya home and come back to the hotel. Mom, I already told you. You need a better reason. I don't want you to lose your job. Then tell him I broke my leg, okay? Bye. Vasily. Well? Vasily, please excuse us. Irina's ex-husband couldn't come and Tanya's crying. How could she leave her daughter? The same way that I did. I left my grandchildren alone at home. Tell her from me that she's fired. Vasily! Fired. Is everything okay? Yes. Excuse me now. We need to go back to work. I'll be right there. Please excuse me, but I have to go back to work. I need to go too. Thank you so much. Thank you. I haven't gone on a walk in forever. Thank you very much. It was very kind of you. You're welcome. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <gasps> Thank God you came back. Oh, Tanya, are you okay? Are you feeling better, honey? Yes, everything is That's okay. That's great. Let's sit down and talk about everything. Well, go see him. He's in the lobby drinking coffee. You need to talk to him. He's very angry. He says you're fired. Go, go talk to him. <laughs> Did you see who's at the hotel? Yeah, I saw him. Excuse me, sir.
Do you have a minute? Please forgive me. I couldn't have done it in any other way. <sighs> you have to understand. After all, you have children too. Yes, I have children and grandchildren, but I'm also a responsible person. I think they teach that as the last course before you graduate university, and you haven't graduated. So, that's all. Don't come back tomorrow. Only to HR. Arena. So that's it. <laughs> I'm going to start crying. I'm gonna miss you. Well, try and talk to him tomorrow. He's angry today. He'll calm down by tomorrow. No, it was my fault. Look, he was late a half an hour last week. His wife left and he had to take the grandchildren to kindergarten. I'm gonna miss getting all the gossip from you. Where do you hear it? I hear it everywhere. <laughs> Have you heard the news? The ballet dancer Stein from the Yellow Deluxe Suite? I had to change the flowers. And she threw the vase? She gave me a compliment. She said I was more helpful than her assistant. So I'm not worried about Have you. Have you seen her assistant? She looks like a mouse. She wants to fire her. Listen, <gasps> maybe she will hire me as her new assistant. But she travels a lot, and you don't speak any other languages. I'll study them. I will do it for the job. For what? Do you want to be at that crazy woman's beck and call? What are you talking about? There will be great parties all the time. What if I finally meet a millionaire? I have no idea. Come back. We'll see. Natasha! Natasha! What? I wanted to talk to you. Well, let's talk. Natasha, I wanted... What's this? It's just a magazine of a client. Mm -hmm. There are cool cars. Natasha, I... Fell in love, go on. Yes, I fell in love. She is older than me. Oof. What? Natasha. <gasps> this is our new plumber. Well, yes. He has millions. But he repairs the plumbing? What a kind of man. What's wrong? Nothing. Natasha, you... you're a fool. Uh. <sighs> Tanya, would you like some juice? Mm-hmm. Arena, would you? No, thank you, Mom. I'll get the door. Oh, hello. Come in. Hello, Aranochka. I have a telegram for you from abroad. Please sign here. From abroad? Grandma, we have good news for you. What news? Mommy has a new boyfriend. <sighs> Come on, Tanya. Goodbye. Your uncle Jaravla Vladimir is dead. Arena, who was it? A telegram. Is it from my cousin? Uh-huh. What? Is he coming to visit? Why are you so quiet? No, mother. He's not coming. What is he doing with the house? How long can we maintain it? Let him sell it once and for all, for goodness sake. Mom. What? Uncle is dead. Regina, come here. Right now. Come here. Find out who this is. She's staying at the hotel, so there won't be any problem finding her. I'll find out in the morning. No, or I won't sleep a wink! God, I'm so tired of you. What did you say? Regina, come back! <laughs> yeah.
Ja. Here's all the information for tomorrow's meeting. Thank you. May I go now? Yes. Thank you. I found a date for the ball. Um, and? Doesn't know who I am. And she's nice to me. For no reason. <laughs> hmm? It's Arena, you've seen her. She has a beautiful name, doesn't she? You want to go to the ball with some maid? With some maid? She's not your usual maid. She is the owner of a little boutique hotel. Yeah, okay, all right. Fed you. <clears throat> I got it. My dreams are shattered. <laughs> so are mine. Yours? Do you think I'm too old to dream? No, Ivan, that's not what I meant. No, you're right. <laughs> I'm an old man with old dreams. I thought I would be a guard here. At the end of my life, and now what? Who knows if the new owner even wants to have an old guard around here? And this house is just... I think we need to... Leave the doors closed in winter, so you only need to focus on the one door. And that way we'll save a little money. Why do you worry about that? Let the new owners worry about it. So then why do you cut the bushes? Let the new owners do it. It's like an old habit. I'm like a house spirit. I can't stop working around the house. So am I, Ivan. Besides, I have a lot of free time now. What do you mean? Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> I was fired for missing work. You're kidding. What is this nonsense? No. They have no rights to fire you. Well, Ashina, where are you? Yes, hello, sir. You can come back to work now. Uh... What... Uh, what do you mean? You definitely Ivan, should... Ivan, wait a minute. Yes, sir, I'm listening to you. I'll see you in my office. You definitely need to be suing them. I All don't you have need to... to sue, Ivan. I was offered my job back. What kind of job? <laughs> A new job or an old An job? old one. Keep working on the branches. I don't understand. I don't understand either. <laughs> really. <laughs> I really don't either. Mr. Gordon has a meeting with the governor at 4 o'clock. Later, he will have dinner with Stroy and Vest representatives. Get that. Will he be alone? Good day. I brought the towels you've asked for. Regina, will he be alone? Hello. Good day. Have you found out about that woman? The doorman said it was you. <laughs> it was a woman in Arena Stein's suit. We don't even look alike. She looks younger. What? Her hair is longer. This is Arena. She works for the hotel. She has the same suit. What's your name, girl? Natasha. Do you know her well? Yes, I do. Well, you're turning out to be more useful to me than she is right now. Come see me after work. Okay. Should I start looking for a new job? Who's going to hire you? Haven't you been listening? Yes, I'll be done by six. Goodbye. How nice is she? Hello. Uh, sorry for being rude with you earlier. I didn't mean it. Seriously, Natasha, I hope you're not offended. Mm. Listen to me. I don't even remember meeting with you yesterday, so just relax. Great. Can I make it up to you? Mm hmm Do you bring your girlfriend flowers from our guest's bouquet? You could bring me a shrimp for my sandwich. It's Natasha. not strange that your girlfriend ignores you. Natasha, I could Hello, bring Hello, room service! I could bring her a beautiful bouquet if I knew she would at least have a date with me. A bouquet? 
Girls need to be given jewelry. Do you understand? Room service! Good day. Come on in. Good day. That's brilliant. <laughs> Such a fool. So, which one do you like? How much are these earrings? Are you madly in love? Who are these earrings for? For my sister. Hmm. Then take the necklace. It's beautiful and inexpensive. And you'll be able to afford these earrings in about 10 years. Why is that? That's how long it will take you to save money from your salary. And that ring? Congratulations, Valashina. And once again, you are Mr. Gordon's personal manager. <laughs> I don't understand. Of course you understand. I didn't expect this from you. You're crafty and quick. You'll get far in life. First of all, I don't like your tone. And second, can you just explain what's going on? Mr. Gordon, the defender of all the unfairly dismissed, demanded that I bring you back to work immediately and does not want to communicate with any other manager. That's ridiculous. Why is that? We've never even had a chance to meet. <sighs> Come on. Come on, let's go. Hmm? Uh... <laughs> so what am I doing in the newspaper with our new engineer? He's a millionaire. I hope you know what you're doing. I understand you're lonely, but I need to warn you, having affairs with the hotel but guest... But I didn't have an affair with that's him. That's enough. Listen, that's enough. You're a bad actress. You know exactly what you're doing. Yesterday you lied about your daughter's competitions and ran off with a millionaire. I'm sick of talking to you. Well, sir, honestly, I... That's really enough. Don't... Enough. Go do your job. Oh. Look, your Gordon is about to leave the hotel. Mr. Valentinovich, several questions about the charity fund. Everything with the fund is okay, but or there's something I want to say. Well, all right then. Go. Ask him if he needs anything when he returns. What has got you upset? Thank you. You can coordinate with Fedor for all of your questions. Stop, please! Mr. Gordon. Hello, Arena. Have they told you already? Why did you deceive me? Who asked you to interfere in my business? Do you know what they're saying about me now? Gentlemen, this is Arena Valashina, hotel manager who has very kindly been assisting. Well, it's nice to meet you, Arena. Could you answer some questions for us, please? No, she can't. She's leaving with me. Get I'm not going Mr. Anywhere. Gordon, how exactly did you deceive Miss Voloshina? And what are you accusing Mr. Gordon of? Get Don't in the car. touch me. Get your hands off me. Oh, of course you're not an engineer. You're a millionaire and you think you can do anything. Ms. Voloshina, why exactly were you appointed as a personal manager? Were you not aware you were being seen with Mr. Gordon yesterday? You say Mr. Gordon deceived you. What do you accuse him of? Get in the car. <sighs> Mrs. Volashina! Mrs. Volashina! Mr. Gordon, who really is the secret stranger? What does Mrs. Volashina accuse you Mr. of? Mr. Gordon! Stop the car. Don't stop the car. I need to go to work. And I need to meet the governor. Besides, you're already at work. I am not your personal manager. I never will be. Do you realize that everyone thinks we're having an affair? Hmm. Do you care about gossip? That is not gossip. That's a lie. Stop the car. I want to get out. Don't stop. That's an interesting perspective. And what if it were true? What if we were really lovers? Would you still be my personal manager? What? Driver, stop the car, please. Yes, Fedor, stop the car. I understand there's no use in trying to talk to you now. So I'll meet you at the hotel when you calm down. You can get out now. We'll have a meeting this evening. Please prepare a table for negotiation. Water, paper, and... And change your clothes, please. Is that all? Yeah. 
Hold on a minute. Are you really that confident, or are you just not used to having anyone say no to you? I'm not. Doesn't happen often. Besides, I don't understand why you're upset. About what people may or may not think about you, Arena. Hmm. Well, I don't know. It's all just old-fashioned... provincial mentality. That's who I am. Provincial. Oh, hello. Come on in. Hello, darling. Why don't you ask who it is before you open the door? Is your mom at home? No, she is still at work. Here is a registered letter for her. Can you sign it? Mm -hmm. What does registered mean? That means it is important. Good afternoon. Hello. Is he in his office? Yes. Goodness, Anuta. What a delight. Well, but not for us, Daria. I suppose it costs as much as a new car. Oh, look. For sure. That That's crazy. And who's going to buy this, hmm? Well, yes, oh. but it is beautiful. Yes. So, Regina, remind me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hey, look. Maybe this one will uh, buy it. My administration. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Mm. There you go. Pick up the phone. <sighs> what am I to do with you? I won't be his manager. I have my own problems, and now these journalists... You're going to wash floors for the rest of your life? Yes. Then why did you study at the university? Listen to me. Why don't you understand? I can't. There is so much hype around him. Paparazzi, I don't want to be involved. That's strange. You knew that Mr. Gordon was a complicated person yesterday, and you were not embarrassed at all about being seen together. And what happened today? And now you're breathing down my neck. That's it. You're fired again. What? Sir, sir, please, wait, 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 wait. Please, please don't fire me. Hello. I want to come back and work here as a maid. <sighs> okay, change your clothes and go up to the fifth floor. Thank you. So, on the fifth floor. All right. Yes, I remember they sent an offer for advertising support. What do you think? To me, this is nonsense. This is all just nonsense. We have to discuss it. No, we'll have to talk about it lit. Tanya? Hey, uh, slow down. Come here, Tanya. Hey, Tanya, come I here. got you. Get, Get away. What are you carrying there? Get Let me back. See. Slow down. Slow down, I said. We shouldn't Better stop here. I'll fire you. Stop that right now! Hey, Tanya. What's going on? It's none of your business. We're friends. I don't buy that for a second. We're just helping her carry her bag. Give it back. They're my classmates, but not my friends. Okay, Tanya. We'll see you in school tomorrow. Talk to you later. Stop. Why tomorrow? Let's talk about it right now. We don't know you. Leave us alone. I will introduce you. This is Uncle Artem. Nice to meet you. By the way, this is Uncle Fedor. He will take Tanya to school tomorrow, and if she says anything about you... Go on, then. Thank you, Uncle Artem. You're welcome. Why are you alone here? Does your mom know where you are? No, I'm meeting her at work. I see. Come with me to my work, and then I'll take you to your mom, okay? Come on. Come on. We're going to meet the governor now, and then I'll take you to your mom. Now, it'll be a little boring, but you'll be patient. Please. Won't you? Good girl. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Couple more minutes. As I was saying, I think we should build a shopping center. Yes, but they decided to build a sports academy. Oh, I don't know. I think a shopping center would be better. Irina, do you have children? Yes, but she's still very young. When she goes to school, you Good understand. Afternoon. Hello. 
Hello. Irina Stein. Nice to meet you. Artem. Oh, I'm very happy to finally meet you in person. Yes. Oh, and hello. Hello, ma'am. Did you know that we're staying in the same hotel? Really? No, I didn't know that. Hello, everyone. Mr. Borisovich is ready to see you now. Please follow me this way. Uncle Artem, should I go with you? Uh, Tanya, wait for me here, okay? Better stay with her. Yes, sir. Is this your niece? This is the daughter of my, uh, yes, my niece. Just a moment. Stay here. But you asked to take notes. Are you stupid or what? Talk to the kid. Find out more about her uncle. Okay. So, Tanya, what are you reading? Fairy tales. Hmm, cool. And what about you? Just a magazine. Hi. Hello. Why are you here? Lady, you are so nosy. You... You don't have to tell me. Mom was at work. What does she do? She's an astronaut. And you? <laughs> me too. I'm an astronaut. <laughs> Did you read something funny? No, I just met someone funny. You're talking about me? Forget it. Don't be offended. You know, a smile looks better on you. First of all, you don't know me. Stop telling me what to do. Calm down. It was just a compliment. It didn't work. So I didn't come here to get compliments from a driver. It's not what I need. Actually, I'm also a secretary. And I'm a bodyguard. Triple threat. So Gordon is so cheap he can't hire all three? No, it just means I'm that good. You kiss yourself in the mirror before bed? You're saying that because your boss is cheap. How much does she pay you? Not enough, apparently, because you look like the homeliest person in this hotel. Country bumpkin. Homely. Plain Jane. Are you sure you're not upset that we changed floors? Not at all. I asked for it. All right. Well, it's weird, though. Yesterday, I thought you liked that businessman. I didn't really know who he was. I just liked him. And today, you don't like him anymore. That's the thing. I still do. It's just better to not get involved. It's not going anywhere anyway. <sighs> I'd take a chance if I were you. Uh, I don't know. I think you and Gordon could have a beautiful affair. I'm done with these beautiful affairs. There's no need to compare. Natasha, you're the one who likes to be around the rich and famous. Nah. But I don't. Do you know he tricked me last night? No. Because he was pretending to be an ordinary person. It's just a game for someone like him. Well, I don't know. I don't believe in Cinderella fairy tales. It's so weird that Tanya doesn't pick up the <gasps> phone. She should be home already. <laughs> Look! <laughs> His wife doesn't allow him to drink, so that's where he hides it. I told you the room wasn't cleaned yet. Come on, come on, here, here, the pillow back. Maybe you can wait in the hall and I can vacuum. No way. No way. Hello. The room is ready now. We just need to change the pillow. <laughs> Goodbye. Have a nice evening. <laughs> Mom? Did Tanya call you? I have a missed call. I called her back, but she doesn't pick up. I've told you many times to get that child a cell phone. I've been calling her, too, and she doesn't pick up the phone. Then call her again. I'm calling. Come what on. What if something happened? Here's <laughs> the deal. I'll ask Natasha to relieve me, and mm -hmm. then I'll go home. Yes, but don't let the silly see you. Yes, okay. <sighs> well, did she say anything, at least? No. She's a very quiet kid. Not a word in the entire hour? She said her mom was an astronaut. Ugh, oh, nonsense. Of course. But it doesn't matter to you if she's an astronaut or a teacher. If a man has a child with him, it is a child of a woman that is close to him. He said she's his sister. 
He doesn't have a sister. I already checked. Hmm. Look how thoughtful he is. Let's go. Mom! My God! My God, Tanya! Oh, what are you doing here? Your grandma and I almost called the police. Look, Mom, this is a letter for you. What letter? I was so scared. I went to the governor's office with Uncle Artem. Where did you go? With whom? With me. Hello. I saw Tanya on the street, and we took a little ride to my business meeting. And what's even better, he scared my classmates. They'll never ever bully me again. Uncle Artem is a really good man. Oh, really? Her mother is not an astronaut. She's just a maid. But what a sweet scene. What? So I'm going crazy, and you're on a business meeting with my child? I tried my best. Listen to me. Why do you keep meddling in my life? Is this some sort of game for you? Was I supposed to leave your child alone in the street with bullies? No, but first you had to call me. I don't even have your number. Well, then call the hotel. Listen, all I wanted was for you to say thank you. Thank you? For kidnapping someone's child from the street? Thank Artem, what are you That's doing? That's enough, Fetter. Thank you. Okay, listen. We're attracting too much attention. Let's talk it over somewhere else. What about dinner? And as for you, why did you leave home, huh? Quiet, quiet. Maybe you and Mr. Gordon are officially a couple. Mrs. Will you Lashina, please just leave us your alone? your daughter. After all that, you want to invite this mad woman to the ball? Of course. Mr. Gordon, what happened? Who is this girl? Gentlemen, Artem has already given you the pleasure of an interview. Thank you. Mom, you shouldn't have yelled at Uncle Artem like that. I was worried. Then get me a cell phone. I will. And you won't do that anymore. I called you. But you didn't answer your phone. I know. Forgive me. Come on, go to Grandma. She's worried too. All right. Good evening. I'm available now. You asked me to come? I don't remember. I'm Natasha. You said that you were in need of an assistant. Are you deaf? What a nuisance. Do pester all the guests? All the maids in this hotel think only about themselves. Are you really looking to change jobs? <sighs> did you get your resume, or did you just put on a shorter skirt and some bad eye makeup? And why are you always wearing pants? Ugly legs, or you have nothing to wear? Clearly. No resume. The only experience you have is spreading rumors and being rude to the guests. It's not up to you. It's mine. Mine. Irina doesn't do anything without me. I'll always be with her until her death. Boo. <laughs> Hi, are you going home already? Yes. I'm going to change my clothes and go home too, Natasha. Okay. L let's go together. Where? Home? <laughs> well, no. At least let's get coffee. Won't your old girl get jealous? What old girl? Well, whatever you call her. That girlfriend of yours. The one you're always asking for advice. The one who's older than you? Are you serious? What? You really don't get it. Tell me, what should I get? Look, I don't care. You may date a prehistoric dinosaur if you want. It's just polite to make conversation, you know? Well, you're a dinosaur. What? Yes, yes, you even have those wrinkles on your forehead. All right, all right, that's it, that's it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What do you know, youngster? What? Who is a youngster? You are a youngster. Shh, I'm actually 18. 18? Ha, huh, I thought 16. What are you doing here at the age of 18? Well, what am I supposed to be doing? At the age of 18, guys serve in the military or go to school. They don't serve breakfast to old ladies. You know what? What? Figure out your own life. Look at you, all dressed up like a... Like what? Like a doll for sale. Don't ever come near me, got it? Never. Dear Arena. I was pleasantly surprised by your persistence and the beautiful, detailed way in which you describe my own house to me. 
I know that there is no one else in the world that will keep it the way it always was and will have as much love for it as you do. I love the idea that you have of turning the house into a boutique hotel. So I have decided to make you the owner. I am taking the house out of the will, so there's no way anyone can challenge this decision. I am giving you the house. It's yours. So now you're the owner of the best little boutique hotel in the world. I hope you're happy with my decision. Sending you a warm hug. Please give my best wishes to Daria. Remember to contact the notary about all of these changes. Sereja! Sereja, I found out about the ring you liked. I can give you a discount. Thank you. I don't need it anymore. So did you have a fight with your sister? Oh no, we broke up. Oh, poor dear. Don't be upset about that. You will meet another one. Another sister? <laughs> For sure, a sister. Mom, huh? Come here. Keep trying. Keep trying. What is it? Just don't worry. What? This is a letter from Uncle. He left me the house. Wow. Congratulations. It seems your uncle loved you very much. Yes, thank you. Where should I sign? Here. Mm-hmm. What are you going to do with the house? Well, first I want to register it under my own No, name. I mean, what are you going to do with it? Do you really need such a big house? It is not so big. It only has 15 rooms. <laughs> are you planning to live in it? Well, I am going to use it. It won't be empty. But you do understand that repair and maintenance will require very large investments. This gift from your uncle can be a double-edged sword. Are you personally invested in my problems? <sighs> if I may give you a little friendly advice. The house sits on a historical center of town. The land in this place is worth a lot of money. It's more profitable for you just to sell it. Well, I'm not going to sell it, for sure. I understand that you're very excited now and you can't properly assess the whole situation. I've been thinking about this house for a long time and selling was never in my plans. Think about it. I can even help you find a buyer. I know of a person who might be interested. Are you a notary or a realtor? Notary. Well then, thank you. Tanya, let's go. Goodbye. 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 Hello. Madvi, hello there. Yes, this is Kirlov. Listen, what does your ex-wife have in mind? How should I know? I told her there's a buyer. There's an opportunity to make good money on this deal, but she refused. Let me persuade her. For a percentage, of course. So what's the deal? The notary was right, Mom. We have no money. When I made this business plan, I was counting upon the financial support of my uncle, and now... Do you want to sell the house? No. I need a new plan and a big loan from the bank. Very big. <laughs> oh, that's very risky. I know. Are you expecting anyone? No. Me neither. Good evening. Good evening. May I? Sure, come in. I didn't expect to catch you. I was told that you were going to be busy tonight. Oh, hi, Uncle. Hello. What do you mean, Uncle? Go to your room. Well, come in. It's cold. Can't you see I'm very busy? It doesn't look like it. This is for you. What is it? An invitation to the governor's ball from Artem Valentinovich. And what, Artem could not invite me himself? He's busy. But you know, the attention that he's already given you is really a great honor. And believe me, there are so many people who would like to be in your shoes right now. Oh, really? A great honor. Remind me again what he did? Oh, he gave me a ride. He spent his valuable time on you. And it is a pity that you can't be appreciative of that. So take it. No, thank you. 
Why don't you let him find a worthier person who can be more appreciative of his time? What? Mom, what are you doing? Don't refuse. Uncle Artem is a good man. Why do you eavesdrop? Mom, please take Tanya. Listen to me. I really don't feel any gratitude about the fact that Mr. Gordon spent any of his precious time on me. Basically, it seemed he wanted to do so, but apparently he didn't. So, I can't go to the ball with him, and I don't want to be persuaded to do so. You're a strange woman, you know that? No, I am just provincial and old-fashioned, and I feel offended that Artem feels he needs to send me the invitation through his bodyguard. I am not his bodyguard. Well, what's the difference? And please stop taking any more of my time. You know, my time is very precious to me. Take the invitation. Take the invitation. No. Would you please take it? Get out of here. Arena, did you talk about Gordon? About the millionaire? Mom, how is this about his millions? He could be useful for you. You told me about the loan. Show him your business plan. Aren't you ashamed? Tanya! Why are you not in bed? Go right now. Quickly. I can't believe this. I sent Gordon the documents for our fund, and he still hasn't responded. It was a couple of hours ago. Of course he hasn't responded. We have to wait until tomorrow. Yes, until tomorrow. Tomorrow we're invited by this, uh, well, what's his name? From the stud farm. I hope Gordon is not bringing his maid. Tomorrow is my day off. Yes, and please go downstairs tomorrow. Get me the catalog from the jewelry store. I want to see all the beautiful necklaces they have in stock. Are you not able to hear very well? Nope, but you sure can't hear well. Tomorrow is my day off. <laughs> and what are you planning to do? Spend the whole day sleeping? I want to go shopping. You? Even the maids in this hotel dress better than I do. I have nothing to wear for the ball. Regina, what's wrong with you? Are you sick? I'm tired of living in your shadow. I want independence. Ah. You can thank your daddy and his stupid will for that. As a result of which, you will receive your money only when you are 25 years old. And for as long as I'm carrying you, you are going to do exactly as I say. Do you understand me? Give me a day off. Or if not, then tomorrow, I will start calling you Mom. Mommy. Or even Mommy Dearest. In front of everybody. I need money. Okay. I'll call the car. I'll order the catalog. Is that it for today? It is. Have a good night. What do you mean you don't agree? That Volashina... Well, she's a weird chick, sir. What do you mean? And what's the big deal? You just have to hand her the invitation, and that's that. She was offended. About what? About the fact that you didn't hand her the invitation yourself. Arena refused? Artem, I think... Well, just invite somebody else. I don't know. Irina Stein. I think she'd be more suitable for this event anyway. I mean, she knows who I am. And she refused. Well, actually... I think I might have spoiled that situation. And how did you spoil the situation? I just told her it was a great honor that you were interested. <sighs> Fedor, are you stupid? No. It just seems to me that... that she doesn't have the right perception of you, kind of like... 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 Like everyone else does. How does everyone perceive me? How? Yes, how? You know. Huh? Without any respect. You mean without adoration, right? No, without any respect. No, without adoration. No, I mean respect. Don't yell at me. Artem, where are you going? I'm going to hand her this invitation myself. Well, there's a bunch of journalists in the hall. Uh, right, right. You're right. Uh... So is there any other way out of the hotel? 
Uh, you could try the balcony. Well, the balcony's nice. Where's the balcony? Or you gonna jump over it? I'll jump it, and you go invite Stein. Artem, would you just stop, please? Artem, stop. Artem, what are you doing out here? I was kidding. Come on, man. And I'm serious. Well, then I guess I'm coming with you. No, I do not need you. Artem, listen to me, okay? Look. This is really high and dangerous. You could fall down and kill yourself. Nope. The tree seems to be strong enough to hold me. Artem, I'm begging you. Come on. Just look at me, me right alone. now. Hold on, Artem. Said leave Artem. me alone. Fedor, are you still here? Huh? What? Uh, uh, yeah. Look, it's dark out here. I can't see anything at all. Do you think I can make the jump from here? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of branches. Just jump quietly, okay? Quietly. Okay. Ah! Artem, sir, did you die? What happened? Ah, I'm hurt. Is everything okay down there? Not exactly. Hold on one sec. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out, down. I uh, said! Hold on. It was an Go accident. away! I just saw such a Herbert, beauty. Get out of here! Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get I'm leaving. out now! That's You're all. crazy. Uh, okay, I'm going. You're crazy. I said get out of here. Arena. Arena. Hmm. What what happened? Madve is here. Who is here? Madve. Who is Madve? You know your ex-husband. My God, why is he here? How should I know? He's been throwing pebbles at the window. Can't he come in a regular way? Why is he throwing he's pebbles? He's scared of me. He knows that I won't let him in. <sighs> Maybe he's here to see Tanya. At midnight to see Tanya? Go, oh, darling, come on. <sighs> Good evening. It's you. Well, yes, it's me. Shall I go for a walk? The night is so beautiful. Well, exactly. It is night, and at nighttime I usually sleep. Yes. Yes, excuse me. Have a good night, then. Well, good night. I just got off work. I just got some free time from doing business, you know? Well, of course. You're used to the fact that everyone adapts to your schedule. Yes. I mean, no. No. Thank you for not yelling under my window. My daughter was spared. It's all just old-fashioned. I have a provincial mentality. Provincial? Yes. Bisk. Have you ever heard of it? No. Mm. When we used to ask girls on dates, one pebble meant just go outside, but a handful meant bring a snack. <laughs> it was romantic, in my opinion. Not really. I agree. So... Which one was it? Just go outside, or bring a snack? Oh, uh, hold on. I almost forgot. ready to go out looking for you. Mom, what's wrong with you? I'm not in the 10th grade anymore. What did the scoundrel want from you? Why did he come? Uh, it wasn't the scoundrel. Then who? It was Gordon. Gordon? Well, mm -hmm. well, why did... Why did he come to see you? What did you talk about? My God, he just invited me to the ball, okay? Hmm, did you? <laughs> Was. Well, did you agree to go? No. Mom, go to sleep. Come on. 
Go ahead. Go. Yeah. Good night. Yes, good night. Ah. <laughs> ah. Good evening. Good evening. I didn't see you go out. You won't believe it. I didn't either. <laughs> ah. My apologies. I jumped from the balcony, landed on the flowers. This is for you to buy new flowers. Are you sure you're okay? Everything is gorgeous. Thank you. Da -da -da. Adam, good evening. Da -da -da. What a gorgeous house. Tanya, you know, I just can't believe that it's ours. Can you believe it? Oh, Daddy's already here. Ah, look Hi, at Daddy. my beautiful girl. Come here, come here, come here. Give me yeah. a hug. Ooh, hello, hello. Mm, you've grown so much. Dad, why did you come so long? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? I will. <laughs> listen, listen. Your mom and I need to talk in private. Go. Take a walk. Ten minutes. But, Dad... Go on. Please. Come on, come on, come on. <sighs> Hello, my love. Wow, that was worth it. I thought it was already in ruins. Madve, why did you come? What kind of question is that? I missed you. Well, you should talk to your daughter instead of admiring the house. You haven't seen her in ages. So, your uncle's gift has spoiled you. You've become rich and bitter. Hmm. So I guess you already know the news. Only the deaf don't know. So that's why I advise you not to spend money on repairs. It's expensive, and it's better to sell the land and get your money right away. Monve, please leave now. Listen, Arena, do you really believe that the big boys will let you get away with owning such a big piece of land right in the center of the city? No. Where will you get the money to repair this place? What do you care? You won't get approved for a loan. Well, okay. You will get approval against this house, and then the house will go under, and then you'll remember my words. Get out. Get out of here! I'm in town for two more days. Cool down, think about it, and then call me. We'll talk about it then. Bye-bye. Hmm? Tanya! Daddy's leaving. Dad's in a hurry. Dad, what about training? Tomorrow, tomorrow. I'll see you then. You gave the limousine to the orphanage. I gave them a bus. Ah, uh, yes, sorry about that. Do you support any other charity causes? And do you think that every rich person in the world should do the same as you? You see, charity is a complicated thing. It's important to find those in need who you can really help and make a difference with. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise it's just a waste of money. Mm -hmm. Yes, and do you think it is possible to buy happiness with money. Not happiness, but a little bit of independence. Perhaps, yes. Yes, ah, that's great. Thank you very much, Mr. Gordon. It was a very interesting conversation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye now. There was a call from the governor's office asking the name of your companion, you know, since entrance is strictly according to the list, security requirements. I'll be alone. And Ms. Voldashina? Oh really, what didn't she like this time? My material prosperity? Well, then this is nonsense. I bet she'll come. You'll see. These are all the same. I know what I'm talking about. If she comes, I'll be very happy. And what if she doesn't? I'll marry her. So, take it. You look nice. Go to this Gordon and don't be afraid of anything. Yeah. I think this is a bad idea. All you need is some business advice. It's the normal thing to do in business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> We're not really that close. You were close enough to walk and talk all night long, but for business talk, you're not. Go.
No, 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 Mom. I mean, he's out there and he he's is not never alone. alone. Go, go. Good morning. Good morning. Arena. Yes? Coincidence. I haven't had breakfast yet. Maybe you'd be able to join me. For a cup of coffee, at least. Young man. Come here, please. Do you work in the restaurant? Would you be so kind as to bring us breakfast to the Blue Suite? I'm on it. Thank you. I can't. I'm working. Well, if you ask me, it seems like she wasn't a fan of last night's walk. Fedor, go and have breakfast. What? I said go and have breakfast. Mm, what about you? I don't want to be in a crowd. Mr. Artem, uh, I need to look at something in your room with your permission. Are you all right? Why did you not talk to him? He's going back to his room. Go now. I can't, Mom, especially in his room. What's wrong with that? You're made. You come to change bed sheets. I don't work on this floor anymore. What's That's wrong with it. You? How are you going to do business in general if you're afraid of every little thing? Mom, I already told him I don't need any help from him. Did he offer you anything? Well, he did. What? He suggested. What? Lord, he offered to carry me over a puddle. How is this carrying you over a puddle? Where's the business what plan? What business plan? Your business plan. My business plan is in my locker. You act like an adolescent in love. What? Nothing. Do you like him? Are you in love? But mom. Then take care of business. That's it. 